Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price has been one of the most dominant athletes in the sport since coming onto the scene in 2008. She has won multiple world and Olympic gold medals in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4x100 meter relay, as well as run some of the fastest times in the 100 meter dash. Through her career, she has faced some amazing competition from other ladies, fellow Jamaican and three-time Olympic medalist Karan Stewart, American Carmelita Jeter, who with a personal best of 10.64 seconds, makes her the fastest woman alive. Multiple time indoor and outdoor medalist Mira Lahure from the Ivory Coast, who is the fastest African woman in history. Even Jamaica's Elaine Thompson, the reigning Olympic champion and training partner of Shelly Ann Fraser Price. But the difference is none of these ladies have displayed the consistency at the top that Fraser Price has displayed throughout her career. In my opinion, her dominance is unmatched by any other woman in history in the 100 meter dash. So let's take a look back at her career and break down how Shelly Ann Fraser Price became the greatest 100 meter sprinter of all time. Shelly Ann Fraser Price first burst onto the global scene when she got second place at the Jamaican Olympic trials in 2008, running 10.85 seconds behind Karan Stewart. At just 21 years old, she shocked many in the track and field world. Though it was a huge improvement on her personal best, she backed up that performance through the season and ultimately at the Olympic Games later on that year. Fraser Price would go on to win the gold medal at the Olympics in Beijing, running 10.78 seconds, which set her at number eight all time in the women's 100 meters. That was also the fastest time run in the Olympics since the Olympic record set by Florence Griffith Joyner back in 1988. This would only be the start of her illustrious career in the 100 meter dash. The next year, she would follow up her 2008 Olympic gold with a gold medal at the 2009 World Championships in Berlin. It would turn out to be an amazing race where fellow Jamaican Karan Stewart challenged her all the way to the line. Her time of 10.73 seconds moved her further into history as it placed her at tied for number four all time by the end of the 2009 season. She also joined Gail Devers from the United States as the only other woman to win both an Olympic and World Championship gold medal at the 100 meter dash. Now, 2011 was arguably the only blunder in Fraser Price's career. She battled a calf injury throughout the season, which hindered her ability to fully prepare for the World Championships. But despite that, she still managed to not only make the final, but also finish in fourth place at those Daegu World Championships, just missing out on a medal by one hundredth of a second. Fraser Price came back with a bang in 2012 though. At the 2012 Jamaican Olympic Trials, she won in a commanding 10.70 seconds, moving her to the sole number four all-time spot in the event and getting just on the cusp of breaking into that 10.6 second territory. She would follow that performance up with a defense of her Olympic title, winning at the London Games in 10.75 seconds. That made her just the third woman in history to win two Olympic gold medals, a feat only Gail Devers and Wyomia Tyus had achieved before her. Fraser Price continued to show her consistency the following year, winning her second world title at the 2013 Moscow World Championships. That made her just the second woman ever to win two world championship titles at the 100 meter dash after Marion Jones had done so in the late 90s. What also made that 2013 season really significant was that she ran sub 10.8 seconds on three occasions during the year. 10.7 7 seconds at the London Diamond League, 10.72 seconds at the Brussels Diamond League, and 10.71 seconds to win the gold at the Moscow World Championships. This had only been done before by two other women in history, Florence Griffith Joyner in the 1988 season and Marion Jones in the 1998 season. So Shelly Ann Fraser Price continued to enter into rare territory in the history of the 100 meter dash. But her 2015 season proved to be even more impressive. Fraser Price would go on to defend her world World Championship 100 meter title in Beijing that year, earning her third World Championship win more than any other women in the history of the 100 meter dash. That 10.76 winning time in the Beijing final would be the third sub 10.80 second run she would put down in the 2015 year, matching the feat she accomplished in 2013 and giving her two seasons of at least three sub 10.80 second runs, something no other woman in history has ever done. Entering the 2016 year, she she was the favorite for the Olympic gold medal, but during the season, she struggled with a toe injury that set her back a bit during the year. Fraser Price would unfortunately not go on to win her third Olympic gold medal, but she would still grab the bronze medal behind fellow Jamaican Elaine Thompson and American Tori Bowie. Despite not winning gold, she still made history by becoming just the second woman ever after Jamaican legend Merlene Odie to win medals in the 100 meter dash at three different Olympic games. After taking some time off to have a child, 
child in 2017, Fraser came back in full force in the 2019 season in what turned out to be one of the best seasons in her entire career. She would successfully win a fourth world championship 100 meter gold medal in Doha with a time of 10.71 seconds. That was not only her fourth world 100 meter title, surpassing her previous record of three gold medals, but also the fourth time she ran sub 10.80 seconds in the 2019 season. That also surpassed her previous milestone of running sub 10.80 seconds at least three times in two seasons. Finally, that race of 10.71 seconds at the Doha World Championship final marked the 15th time that she would break the 10.80 second barrier in her entire career, surpassing the career high of 13 set by Marion Jones. So let's summarize what Shelly Ann Fraser Price has accomplished in the 100 meter dash. She won three Olympic medals, two gold medals, and one bronze medal. That surpasses Wyomina Titus and Gail Devers, who have both won two gold medals each at the Olympics. It also surpasses Merlene Odie, who has a silver medal and two bronze medals from different Olympic Games. Fraser Price has won four World Championship gold medals, which doubles the next best of Marion Jones, who has two World Championship golds. The only other women with four World Championship medals are Merlene Odie and Carmelita Jeter. Odie has two silvers and two bronzes, while Carmelita Jeter has one gold and three bronzes. Fraser Price has run sub 10.80 seconds 15 times in her entire career. Like I mentioned previously, this surpasses Marion Jones, who has done it 13 times, and it's also better than Elaine Thompson, who did it seven times, and Carmelita Jeter, who has done it five times. Fraser Price has a personal best of 10.70 seconds, which makes her number four all time in the 100 meter dash. That equals her compatriot Elaine Thompson, who also has a best of 10.70 seconds. And it's only behind Marion Jones at 10.65 seconds, Carmelita Jeter, who ran 10.64 seconds, and Florence Griffith Joyner, who holds the world record. Finally, out of the 10 best 100 meter performances in her career, Shelly Ann Fraser Price averages 10.73 seconds. That is just behind Marion Jones, who has a top 10 average of 10.72 seconds. But it is still much better than Carmelita Jeter and Elaine Thompson, who share third best, both with an average top 10 of 10.77 seconds. Also, I think it's important to note that in all of her championship wins, she has been able to run sub 10.80 seconds, the fastest being 10.71 seconds, and the slowest being 10.78 seconds, something that no other woman has been able to do in their careers. So based on all of that, in my opinion, there is no other woman in history that can match the accolades Shelly Ann Fraser Price has achieved throughout her career in the 100 meter dash. And she still has more to go. Fraser Price was likely the favorite entering the 2020 Tokyo Olympics before it had to be postponed. So moving into 2021, she will likely still be in a good position to potentially win another Olympic gold medal. So go in the comments below. Let me know if you think Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the greatest female 100 meter dash runner of all time or if not who do you think is the best female of all time and what would Fraser Price have to do to move into that 100 meter dash number one spot make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and be back again in the next video thanks